Another question that um, seems to pop up quite often uh, is, has to do rather, has to do with what's the employment like? What kind of employment options are there? Um, that's a good question. Well, as far as actual hourly jobs and what have you, there's the service trade, restaurant, you know, things like that. Uh, villas, working in villas, uh, especially if you speak Spanish and English, uh, the doors open up considerably wider. I don't think it's a mandatory to be fluent in Spanish, but I do think it's mandatory to understand some Spanish. Uh, I'm not 100% fluent myself by no means, but more than enough to carry on uh, an intelligent conversation or a business conversation. But by far in the Caribbean and uh, most of Latin America, it's been my experience that the best opportunities are for the out-of-the-box thinkers that create a job or create a business for themselves. Uh, internet businesses tend to do well. We do have good internet service here. So, uh, actually, we've got uh, three or four families here now that are uh, running internet businesses, uh, living here full time, and uh, the speed of the internet or the bandwidth is uh, more than adequate for them. But I could say pretty much I would imagine the same thing in uh, so many other countries. Your options are always better if you can think out of the box and find a niche. That's why I suggest to a lot of people before coming out and right away you know unless you're of the age and you're of the retirement you have a residual income to carry you through but if you're a, a younger person especially with family my suggestion is don't run and get carried away right away any place you want to settle to not just where we live in Cabrera but I'm saying any other country I've lived in six countries I know this from experience it's no different than somebody who lives by the Great Lakes. At the end of winter, you don't jump off the, off, the, off the dock right away. First, you check out how deep it is. Secondly, you stick your toe in, see how cold it is. And then if you like it and it's to your agreement and you can live with it, then you take the plunge. Otherwise, you'll wait for another day, another week. It's the same thing here. So what I suggest to a lot of people that are not of retirement age or are not of the wealth uh, stature that they can afford not to work. If you like it, nothing happens. So many Westerners try to see the view of the staircase while they're still on the ground. And after 160 tours with over 400 people, I see it. What it does is, first of all, it creates a lot of stress, almost to the point where people have this attitude, I could never do this, it's just too much. Well, it isn't, but you think it is because you're trying to see the view of the top of the staircase of a 15 staircase, 15 stair staircase, and you want the view, but you're still on the ground. You're failing to realize as you take example step one, step two, step three, New paths open up that you could not see from the ground. For example, some of those paths, I stumbled on a great way to make a decent income. I found something I wasn't even thinking of while I was still back home. Or, geez, I've made a lot of friends. That's another question. How do I meet people? You meet people by experience, not being shy. In the Caribbean, people aren't afraid to talk to people. It's not that everybody's looking at the ground and if you say hello to every second person you're looked at as being silly, it's quite the opposite. So you see, as, these, as you walk up these stairs, these new paths start opening that you could not see from the previous stair. How to produce income or how to make a living just happens to be one of those stairs. I don't know if it would be step three or step seven. I can't answer that. I can tell you though, it will be one of the stairs that you eventually climb on your way up to the view of the top of the staircase. So uh, I can tell you again, create your own means of employment. I suggest to a lot of folks, find a rental. Now we, we've since gotten into rentals and we can help with that a lot if it makes it easier for you. If not, find your own. Either way is great for us. It, we, we just want to help people who are looking for options and understand where the trends are leading. 
Um, four or five months into a rental, you're going to realize, six months, whatever, you're going to realize, you're going to find your way to make a living or you're going to find a way to realize it's not for you. But then you didn't make a, com a complete commitment. You didn't blow a whole pile of your portfolio finding out it's not wrong. It's a way of testing the water before jumping in. Um, another thing I, I really would like to address about that is jobs are not easy to find and employment's not easy anywhere. Uh, anyone who believes four and a half, five percent unemployment rate, well, okay, good luck to you. I'm not even going to go down that path. It's so stupid. But the point is, and this is something that goes back from when I was young, my father taught me, the costliest thing you'll ever own is a closed mind. It'll cost you your health, your family, your children, your investments, everything. So that's something I see a lot of Westerners are suffering from. I don't know if it's from media. I don't know if it's from the environment that they're in every day. I, I don't know because I don't live there. It's been decades. But I do know there is a certain amount of closed-mindedness. So first of all, open your mind. Nothing matters until you decide to come down here and visit with us or go to one of many countries that are going to survive the storm much better than capitalist nations will and investigate. Don't bother with anything else till you go down because so many people I've met on our tours, our discovery excursions, did not understand what I meant. And a couple of days later, I got you now, buddy. You're right on with that. Something inside of you is going to tell you it feels right or it doesn't. You don't need my brother Johnny to do it. You don't need me. You don't need Leanne. You don't need any one of the expats or the that we've helped relocate or expats on their own or any of our local people will introduce. No, you're going to know something inside of you is going to click and say this feels good or it's beautiful, but it's not right for me. In either case, you're right. But if something clicks and wherever you visit tells you it's right, go with that instinct. They call it a gut instinct. Um, just a quick sidebar, most people don't know the word gut instinct or the saying in Western culture, gut instinct. Actually, gut is God in Scandinavian. That's where the saying came from. I've got a God instinct. When something inside of you says something's right, you can't go wrong, even if it doesn't work out. And I'm going to tell you why. Because if you don't act on that gut instinct and follow it through, when you're 60, 65, 70, it's going to always haunt you like a monkey on your back. I wonder what would have been in my life if I did it. So you're liable to relocate and take a six month venture and it doesn't work out. Well, great. Let's say you're from Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh don't fall off the map if you feel you have to go back to Pittsburgh. But you wouldn't want to be leaving Pittsburgh if you wanted to go back to begin with. So I'd suggest from there go on to another country. You'll find a way to make a living. I've done it in six countries. Oh, I sure as hell ain't nobody special. And I've been in countries with less than a couple of thousand dollars in my name. So if you want to do it, you will do it. And if you bow into your fear of the unknown, that's understandable. A lot of people do that. Just be prepared to expect to arrive in your nation the very same stuff for the reason you want to get out of it because it's not changing. So you need to look at something that fits you. Expatriation is not for everyone. I never claimed it is. DR, Dominican Republic, while it suits us and a lot of people we meet, it ain't right for everybody. There's no place that's right for everybody. Learn to think for yourself. Make your own decisions. But always test before you jump in with both feet. Hope this helps and we'll continue further with these common questions we've been asked. And until next time, this is Barry in DR.